At present, we note increases in respiratory illnesses over a wide range of age groups, impacting the education sector significantly. The Ministry of Health is monitoring the COVID-19 situation and the presence of other respiratory viruses. In relation to COVID-19, globally, nearly 10.5 million new cases and over 90,000 deaths were reported in the last 28 days, a decrease of 89% and 8% respectively compared to the previous 28 days. Current trends in reported COVID-19 cases are underestimates of the true number of global infections and reinfections. This is partly due to the reduction in testing and delays in reporting in many countries. The number of newly reported 28-day cases decreased or remained stable across all WHO regions. At the country level, the highest numbers of new 28-day cases were reported from China, Japan, and the United States of America. At the regional level, in the last four weeks leading up to February 6, 2023, the number of laboratory-confirmed cases has remained relatively low in the CAFA member states. The number of deaths reported by CAFA member states to WHO has also remained low over the last four weeks. The number of deaths per 100,000 population has been on a decline from March 2022 and continued into the beginning of January 2023. Locally, over the last 30 days, from January 8, 2023 to February 6, 2023, we have recorded a total of 178 cases of COVID-19 and one COVID-19 death. The 25 to 49-year-old age group is most affected. The highest incidence is noted in Groselay and Babano. These numbers are low due to reduced testing in country. Hospital admissions for COVID-19 remained below five cases daily for the last month. The Ministry of Health is closely monitoring the emergence of new variants and sub-variants of COVID-19. At present, we have sequenced about 12 sub-variants of Omicron circulating in country. In addition to COVID-19, there are other respiratory viruses in circulation which may possess similar clinical presentation to COVID-19. In several countries, there's been a steep increase in influenza and respiratory syncytial virus. Over the last few weeks, parents note that children seem to be developing recurrent respiratory infections. Most of the cases are mild in nature. This trend is anticipated as the measures that were placed during the management of COVID-19 also reduced the regular influenza cases over the last three years. Our population is now exposed to many different strains of influenza virus at this point. To reduce the impact, the following measures are advised. Keep healthy by consuming healthy foods such as fruits and vegetables and water instead of sodas. This will reduce your susceptibility to infections. Maintain sanitary measures at home and at school. Ensure regular cleaning and disinfection of surfaces and cough etiquette should be observed. Persons who are symptomatic should be managed based on their symptoms with Panadol, cough syrup, increased fluids and rest. If your condition worsens, visit the nearest wellness center or your private health facility. Children who are exhibiting active infection should be kept at home until they recover. Ensure face mask use if they interact with others. The influenza and COVID-19 vaccines are available at all of the wellness centers and especially high-risk patients are advised to get them. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue to monitor the situation and provide guidance as required.